It happened this past week. The passing of two gifted women who helped soothe and inspire troubled lands. Jean Kennedy Smith died Wednesday at her home in Manhattan. The last surviving sibling of President John F. Kennedy, she led a mostly quiet life of charitable works until, at the urging of her brother, Senator Ted Kennedy, President Bill Clinton appointed her ambassador to Ireland in 1993. For the next five years, she devoted herself to easing the sectarian conflict between Catholic and Protestant, North and South, helping to broker a ceasefire in 1994 that eventually led to the so-called Good Friday Agreement of 1998 that has mostly held to this day. Jean Kennedy Smith was 92. Dame Vera Lynn died Thursday at her home in England. A talented singer from a very young age, she achieved lasting fame during World War II as the Force's sweetheart, entertaining British troops from Egypt to Burma, as it was then known. The very personification of the motto, keep calm and carry on, she raised soldiers' morale with songs of home and hearth including the White Cliffs of Dover. The White Cliffs of Dover. And we'll meet again. We'll meet again. Don't know where. Don't know where. Named a Dame Commander of the Order of the British Empire in 1975, a reissue of her We'll Meet Again album topped the British charts in 2009. Dame Vera Lynn was an astonishing 103 years old. Till the blue skies chase those dark clouds. Oh.